What's up guys? John McLennan here. Hope you're having a great day and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Treasure by Bruno Mars. We're going to work on our funk rhythm guitar. We're going to play a lot of 16th note rhythms with some cool triad or little three note voicings. I'm going to break down the whole song for you, show you all the chord shapes that you need to know and basically a pretty much note for note to the recording way of playing this. Before we get into the lesson make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure to hit the subscribe button. We post new guitar lessons on the channel every single day. Tons of lessons that are going to help out your guitar playing. All completely for free. Also, as another gift to you, you can get a free PDF in the description below all about soloing. Check that out. With that said, let's get into the lesson. This tune is basically based off of four bars of music with a couple other rhythm hits that we're going to talk about like at the very beginning. It starts off like this. And this is a really cool chord. It's an A flat over B flat. And the way that you play this is you can put your thumb on the sixth fret of the low E string. We're going to mute the A string, then put your third finger on the sixth fret of the D string, second finger on the fifth fret of the G string, and first finger on the fourth fret of the B string. You can also put your pinky on the sixth fret of the high E. It sounds like that. And we're going to start off with some eighth notes. We're going to play one and two and three, and then we're going to rest on beat four like this. One, two, and three. And they're going to be all downs, and as you hit the chord, you kind of release the pressure right after you strum it. So they're staccato. And that's all downs. One and two and three. Those are eighth notes. One and two and... And then a quarter note on three will rest on beat four, and there's just a snare crack. Like da 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 ba. One and two and three. Crack. And then we're into the main groove, which sounds like this. Now this is a four bar progression that just loops over and over. It starts out on an A flat major seven chord. And all of these chords I'm going to be playing on the D, the G, and the B strings. For A flat major seven, I'm going to play the sixth fret, then the eighth, and the eighth. And a lot of this in order to get it to sound right, you want to work on your muting. And so you have to be able to strum these chords, but mute all the other strings. If you notice, my first string is muted, the, the, uh, the A string is muted, and the low E is muted. So we're going to hit that on one. One and two and three and a. Uh, and on the uh of three, that's when we're going to change next. So one and two and three and a. Uh, we're going to move to a G minor 7. And to play that, we're going to play, again, those same three strings. 5, 7, 6. 1 and 2 and 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Then on the and of 4, we'll move that G minor 7 down to an F minor 7. And that's going to be just on the 3rd fret, the same chord. So the first bar is 1 and 2 and 3. And a four E and a one and two and three and a four E and a and that'll tie over into the next measure and we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So you can just play basically just quarter notes two, three, four. So one and two and three and a four E and one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the first two bars. Then we're gonna move this back up. To G minor 7, same chord just on the 5th fret, 1 and 2 and 3 E and a 4 E and a. Now what I did was I started on the G minor 7, 1 and 2 and 3 E and a, and on the A uh of 3 I'm switching to that B flat triad here, which is going to be 8, 7, 6, so 3 E and a. 
four E and, uh, and on the and of four, we're gonna go to a C minor chord. This is 10, eight, eight. So, so, so far, starting from the G minor seven, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So we're up there on the C minor, and then we're gonna go one E and a two E and a three E and a four, and on beat four, we go back to the B flat. So the whole, you know, basically bars three and four are gonna sound like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And then bars one through four, all of it together. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So that's where the basic hits happen. Then in between, I might add some more of a 16th note groove, like one E and a two E and a. And I'm just kind of, as I feel, keeping this groove going one E and a two E and a three, and playing muted chicken scratch in between the chords. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. So the basic progression, which start with this, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. As that gets more comfortable, play it along with a song, then you start to just get a little bit more funky with it. I might steal rhythmic ideas from the melody, like treasure, I might go treasure, you know, and kind of hit some of those rhythms right along with the singer, and it just gets a cool funky feel like this. So we do this three times. Then we do two bars of this, so we go just the first half, and then we go. So that's just to that A flat over B flat, just like how we had at the intro. But our rhythm is just one, two, three, four, then one and two and three and a four E. You know, just a quick sixteen note. Three down up on beat three, three and a four, e and a. Then we hit the chorus, same thing. This time we're gonna do it uh, twice. Then on the third time we'll play this. One and a two, e and a three, e and a four, e and a one and a two. Then we'll go one and two. We have this rhythm, which is actually how the song ends as well. So we play the first two bars of that main progression. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... Then we go to the A flat over B flat, and we play eighth notes for a bar. One and two and three and four and... And then we do this rhythm. And what that is, the first beat sounds like this. And that's one E and a, a down, up, then up, one E and a, then two E and a, that's basically an eighth note and two sixteenth notes, two E and a, then on beat three, we're gonna rest for a sixteenth note and go three E and a, and that's an up, down, with three E, playing on the E of three, and then the and of three, three E and a, and then for beat four, we just rest. That's that snare crack again, just like the beginning. Four, and then we start the main progression again. So here's the two bars that have those rhythms to it. One and two and three and four and three. 
there you go, guys. That's how to play Treasure by Bruno Mars. I hope this lesson helps you out and you work on your funk rhythms. Be sure to practice along with the recording. That's really going to help you get the feel and the groove together for this. If you're interested in playing some lead, check out the description below. I've got a free PDF for you that's over 100 pages long. Also, if you want to follow along with me on Instagram at John McLennan, I post there pretty much daily, so you can be a part of it there as well. We'll see you guys in the next video.